might be surprised at how many things you can't mix bleach with and not have to worry about a problem. And yes, I am talking about the household sodium hypochlorite bleach that you buy at the grocery store. Not on that short list of safe things is vinegar. Vinegar is by definition a 5% solution of acetic acid in water, meaning if you had 100 milliliters of vinegar, 95 milliliters of that is just water. So for what it's supposed to be used for, pickling, cooking, salad dressings, it's safe. You still have to remember that it's an acid. And as an acid, it does the chemical acid thing. And when you mix it with bleach, it does the chemical acid thing even better. The reason why this is particularly hazardous is because the acetic acid in vinegar, even a small amount can react with the small amount of hypochlorite in bleach. Even though it's a small amount, because hypochlorite is a very reactive compound, It'll take a proton from the acetic acid, turn into a different acid, hypochlorous acid, and that breaks down into chlorine gas. And really, most acids will do this with bleach. And that's why you really shouldn't mix any acids with bleach. Not vinegar, not lemon juice, not hydrochloric acid, just, just don't mix bleach with things. Now, should you find yourself in the unfortunate situation where you have added vinegar or ammonia to bleach, leave, just, just leave. If you can open a window, like the second you notice that you've done this, open whatever ventilation port you can and get out of the area. You may find some things online that say you can try to neutralize it with this, that, or the third, unless you have appropriate PPE, personal protective equipment available, and you actually have the necessary things to neutralize it, and you have some kind of actual training or expertise in the field of dealing with chemical hazards, just don't do it. Just don't do it. It just, cause you, you might end up getting a face full of chlorine gas. And that means a lung full of hydrochloric acid. And that means death. <laughs> Not to be overly dramatic, chances are the amount of bleach you're using and vinegar you added to it are not gonna be enough to cause an actual chemical holocaust. However, you do wanna leave the area, get as far away from that smell as you can and wait at least 45 minutes to an hour before you even try going back and seeing if you still smell it. If you still smell it even a little bit, go away again for another 30 minutes. Just don't chance it. I hope that was helpful out here trying to save some lives, avoid some very nasty situations. And if you have questions, holla at your boy. This is Kim Thug.